Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what we're going to do is I am going to crack open a shiny new copy of Drop It. Uh, we're here on Unboxing Day, opening up the gifts I got for Christmas in 2022, and this is one of them. Now, I have played this game before. I played it at the fantastic Queen City Conquest. A board game and role-playing convention, tabletop game convention in Buffalo, New York, where I got to try out this game, and I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic game, and it's been a couple years, but it's taken me this long to get my own copy, and I do have to thank my family for giving this as a gift this year, because I've been looking forward to playing this one. So this is from Thames and Cosmos, or just Cosmos. Plays two to four players, ages eight plus, and honestly, I would think even younger could probably play it. It's about a 30-minute playtime, and... um. Yes, it's kind of like Tetris. And yes, there's more of a dexterity element. And no, these pieces don't move like you think they would. That's about all I'll say. Now, this did win the Player's Choice Silver Award, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do now is crack the shrink. Then I'm going to put the game down on the table. And you can look at what's inside this box at the same time I did. Because the copy I played was already out on a table when I sat down to play it. So I don't quite know what everything looks like before you open it up. So let's get to it. Let's crack the shrink on Drop It from Cosmos. All right, first off, we've got to remove the shrink. Now let's take a look at what's inside. I gotta say, I love the colorful box. And this actually does a really good job of showing you um, what the game is about, surprisingly. So this is from Bernard Bernhard, sorry, Bernhard Latch and Uwe Rapp. Okay, we have, uh, looks like I'm gonna put the box here. Oddly packaged. I don't know if things shifted around, but it's kind of strange. It all fit in the box. So we have the rules, and we have the big plastic thing, which we'll get to in a minute. Now what I am going to do is move this plastic thing out of the way, because, wow, is it ever picking up the reflection? So I'm just going to slide the box over here where it's not catching the light, and we're going to quickly flip through this. Again, two to four players. Oh, interestingly, or two teams, which to me makes me think you could play with even more players and teams. I like that. Um, and it basically gives you the contents, which we'll be looking through. Then it goes through how to assemble. Okay, to be honest, how to assemble is like one quarter of the rules. Um, and then what pieces you're supposed to take at different player counts. Interestingly, when playing with three or two players, you actually play with multiple colors. So like you take out the yellow and you split it. And when you're playing with um, two players or two teams, you actually play two colors each. And then there's the rules of the gameplay, which again, this is not an instructional video, so I'm not going to get through it, but basically you're dropping wooden shapes and trying to make sure that they don't touch and they don't touch the edges and you're going to score points for being over top of circles and stuff. This is not an instructional video, but literally your how to play is one page. Like the rest of this is kind of set up and how to build things and how it all looks. One page and then some variant rules. That's impressive, actually. Like you don't see many games that are worth playing with one page rules nowadays. All right, now we're gonna move over to the thing. We're gonna take this out. And I assume this is gonna be able to go back in here assembled. Wow, it's odd, like they, they, everything's like sloped. So we have some punch boards here. Now some of these are for assembling this, which I don't wanna assemble it the wrong way, but like you're literally gonna slide so these pieces of cardboard into here. And the problem is I don't know which side's which, so I don't, like I said, oh, these come out. So yeah, here, we'll do it quick. See? Slide in. And then there's another one. And obviously there's a different way to play or a variant. Wow, these are literally falling out of here. So I gotta appreciate the well-cut punch boards. So we'll put these in. I probably have them backwards because that says A and C, but whatever, you get the idea. So those easily slide in. There, you can't see my webcam through here. I'm gonna punch these just because it's gonna be easier to put this away. You have uh, uh, more punch boards. So like really thick cardboard tokens here. So like, Look at that. Look at how thick those are. We have a smiley face token. I don't remember using these when I played. So we have smiley face token. Look at how easy that's punching. Dang. That's nice. Um, this is for the bottom. Whenever we get to the bottom. That's for the bottom. And then some plus bonus points. Again, I'm just quickly punching things. I don't usually do this on unboxings, but it's coming out so easy. I figure it's easier. Plus these are big and chunky. I don't expect them to get damaged. Here's the score track where you're going to keep track of who's winning. You get points throughout the game. It just has the Drop It logo on the back. Again, thick. Like that. That is a chunky, chunky piece of wood. 
bubble wrap to protect things. The wooden bits. The bottom. So it doesn't look like you can put this away assembled. So you're going to have to take it apart, put it back together. But this literally just slides. Somehow, one side or the other. Yeah, see? It just slides. Like, it can't be harder than that. Then you're going to put the appropriate thing at the bottom here. Like, you're probably supposed to match A with A, B with B. All right, we're going to put this aside for a second. I'm already wishing I had baggies for this. So one of the things this does not come with is any real way to com control these components. Uh, box insert is uh, honestly surprisingly beat up. Which, in my opinion, like, I know some gamers are probably going to be frustrated by that. But to me, that means it was doing its job protecting the components. Right? Like, it's kind of dinged up over here. But to me, that's a good sign that this box protected everything that was in it. So what we have here are a bunch of wooden pieces. Which, honestly, I'm just going to jump into this well. And then I'll show you some various shapes. So the cubes are actually for tracking your score. Those do not fit in the tower. There's one of each of those in the player colors. Somewhere in here would be the other one. There it is. Cubes for tracking your score. Then you've got the various shapes, which are going to drop into this thing. So you can kind of see it. And you drop stuff in it. Oh, I almost dropped the cardboard thing. So you drop more, and then the next player is going to drop something. Then the next player is going to drop something. And if I remember, you can't have the same shapes or, or uh, colors touching. So oh, no, that would be bad. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to try to drop a yellow way in this corner. Yeah, look at that. They're not touching. And then we're going to throw a circle and so on. Then you're going to score and like things touch. It. Oh, red's touching this. Sorry, red is touching here. So you, can, I won't score that red because they're touching and so on. Nice, thick wooden components. Okay, I guess take off the cardboard pieces before you dump. <laughs> Solid chunk of plastic. Now you can kind of see these. There's numbers on here that show um, like what points you're going to get for touching those numbers. See if maybe they'll show up better here, but I think all you're going to see is my webcam. There at this. Now, now you see my mic. Silly piece of plastic is reflective. You basically got an idea. So now we're going to try to slide this off. Oh, easy. No problem. We're going to put it back in here. We're going to put this back on top. Throw these cardboard pieces in. I'm sure there's slightly better ways I could organize this. But for now, that's it. It's everything you get with Drop It. So now we took a look at what you get inside the box for Drop It, which, of course, the majority of it is a big plastic, toyerific, poetic, whichever word you want to use, piece. And wooden pieces drop into the top of that. Some cardboard bits to uh, change it up so you can change up the edges of the. Uh, the piece, I don't know what to call it, the, the drop it thing, the tray, the, the whatever you want to call it. Um, and then all the pieces for it. One page rule book for instructions on how to play this. Um, I am a hobby gamer. I like heavy Euro games, but I love this game. This is a fantastic game. I like dexterity games. And like I said, you have no idea how those pieces are going to bounce, slide, and move until you played this. You think you might know physics until you play Drop It, and you're like, wow, okay. That's not quite what I thought was going to happen. Brilliant game. Um, it actually has a rating of abstract strategy level of 4 out of 5. Luck of 2 out of 5, which is fair. It's not a luck-driven game. You are picking which of your pieces. It's not like there's a die you roll that tells you what to place. Um, easy to learn, 5. And fast-paced, 5. Like, it is super easy to learn. Um, had I reviewed the rule book before starting this video, I probably could have given you a proper teach with how things touch and that. But that's not what we're about here. Right now, we just wanted to show you what's in the box. Um, the one thing I could see someone possibly complaining about is the box insert was a little beat up. But there's big, chunky, heavy plastic things in here. And honestly, I think that's just a good sign that the what the publisher, Cosmos, has put in the box worked to protect the components of the game. And to me, that's a good thing. So I was actually happy to see that. Though it may not look so pretty. But you know what? See inside of the box. All that matters is the game. The game components work. The game works, you get to play it. So that's all I have to say about Drop It for now. Now, when I do start playing this one, I will be sharing my plays and talking about it on social media, where you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop One Word. Eventually, we'll be doing up a full review of this game. Uh, that'll also be up on my socials, but mainly at TabletopBellhop.com. 
on our Tabletop Bellhop YouTube page, as well as our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. That way, if you want to learn about Drop It in the future, you can watch it, you can read it, or you can listen to it. If you've enjoyed this video, one more thing, it'd be awesome if you went to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping your bellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzano, your Tabletop Bellhop. Good day, and game on.